praise God. Today is, is just a bit of, uh, I, I guess you would say a milestone, but 17 years ago today, April the 3rd, 1994, we held our first service in this building, right where you're at right now. Amen. It's hard to believe that it was 17 years. Amen. 17 years. Amen. We came in on uh, Easter Sunday, and the Church of God folks said, well, we haven't got our money from you yet, but all the papers are signed and everything, and you don't have to go back to your old building if you don't want to. You can just stay right here, and that's what we've done. So we've been here ever since. Amen. And I'm excited to be able to be here with you today. Amen. And loving the Spirit and the power of God. Amen. Many of you know that I that I have been uh, kind of a focal point of, of everything here the last few years of my sickness and times you don't know why and how and why it must be, but I had the most unusual call from Goshen Cancer Center uh, the other day from a young lady, and she said uh, we are we are making a promotion and uh, going to be uh, uh, talking about, uh, you know, just different things and another people that's been through and said when I went to uh, some doctors, uh, Randy and, and Jonathan and Don, Dr. Van Sice, Dr. Coon, I, when I asked them who could I get to come and make this promotional speech, they said, everybody said, you need to get Gene Ebright. You got to get him in here because what has happened to him is phenomenal. So April the 12th, uh, I said I asked, you know, uh, I don't know much about this television stuff. So I said, how am I supposed to dress? You know, I want to look halfway decent. Amen. When I go in there, they said, well, it's not going to be on television, but it's going to be on the internet. And said, you'll probably be shown from your waist up and figure about an hour. And you know, I told my wife, we kind of teared up together because God's got everything in control. Right. Right. Amen. And I'm going to get to tell somebody somewhere around the world that Jesus Christ is a healer and a deliverer. And yes, I did receive yeah. some help from Goshen Center. But I'm going to tell you, the Almighty God was on the line. One time there were some things going on about people being forgiven. And he asked uh, about one guy that had done a lot and uh, he was forgiven and somebody that had done a little. And he said, I want to know which one of the guy uh, you think is the greater. He, he said, well, the disciple said, well, it's the one that you forgave most. And so the reason that I say that is because uh, I know what the doctors have said to me and what has been said in my spirit and all in the last little while. And so I'm, I'm just grateful today. And I'm ready to make some noise around here. Yeah. Amen. Some of you maybe don't want to make so much noise, but I, I want to make a little noise today because I feel that God has been worthy. Amen. Of the praise. Amen. Amen. Well, I'll give him all the praise. You know that song right there? Amen. Amen. Hit me a half key. Well, I'll give him all of the praise. All of the praise. You know that? You know it, brother? Amen. Just read right. Get up here. Praise God. I got to sing this. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing like being organized, right? Amen. I'll give him all the praise. Get that organ cranked up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is healing. Amen. Sister Swineheart, right now, we understand that the other Sister Swineheart has been having some problems with her with her heart today. Amen. And God set her free once. Going to do it again today. In Jesus' name, I believe in the power of healing. 